Greetings guys, it's Irish here. So, every now and then I get a little bored with the window manager that I'm on, usually. So, I've been on i3 for hmm, close to five years now. I think uh, next couple months will be at least five years. So, almost as long as I have been on Linux, believe it or not. So, I have tried Herb Sleuth tried DWN, I've tried Awesome, I've tried Xmonad, and now one of the guys from the Linux distro community has suggested, excuse me, suggested that I looked at Qtile, and that's what this is. So I don't know how long it, this has been a uh, window manager, but here's their main site. It is actually configured in Python. Now this is going to be a mini review because there really isn't a whole lot to talk about with it and to show. I'll show you some of the basic stuff. I did uh, install this and played, played around with it uh, yesterday. But uh, let me show you. So right at the beginning, um, everything will be black. That is, if you don't have Fe or Nitrogen set on your computer. This is the bar down here, which is completely configurable. Uh, this is the default config. It does come with a system tray, which is a big plus because a lot of other window managers don't come with system trays by default. It has a date and time. And then these are the workspaces or as they like to call them groups and then this is actually changeable too now I couldn't find why they picked a s d f u i o p I'm assuming it means something but uh, if you actually look at the keyboard for the most part except for the u and the i yeah I don't know why they didn't pick jkl because it's mostly your home row key so so with this it's very similar to xmonad where it doesn't come with a default configuration file you actually have to make it yourself even though it does exhibit some of the default stuff so where to go is their website here um, if you go to documentation and then you go to default configuration and then click on here this is the default I'll show it to you in, in a little bit but uh, t so the by default also the modifier key is your Windows key but I have changed that and also the default terminal is the X term and for those who have been following me for a while know that I do not like Xterm so I have changed it to your XVT so to open a terminal you have alt so your mod key which is now my alt key and enter so uh, again this does come with Xterm by default so I say if I wanted to open up another one I have opened it up again it doesn't look anything uh, different. This is the maximize screen. So to to do the side by sides, I would do Alt and Tab, and there you go. But say if I wanted to open up uh, Firefox, you can have ROFI uh, launcher or D menu, but uh, very similar to awesome window manager actually comes with a launcher itself so if you hit mod R as you see uh, look down here when I say mod R you see the spawn and then I say Firefox dash bin you have to be precise however when you when you do this but as you notice I had two terminals open this one got covered up but if I close out this by hitting mod W, it's still there. 
So yes, that is correct. There's only two layouts. And then say if I close this one, as you could see, uh, it it's half. So this is a stacking, I believe. Uh, I don't know exactly which layout it is, but if I wanted to go back to maximize, I would say Alt Tab, and that's it. So I'll tell, show you guys what the configuration file looks like. Uh, so you do have to put it in your well. You can put it anywhere, but I have it in my dot config Q tile. And then the configuration file is called config.py. And this is coming straight from the GitHub page. So if you know anything, if you can read a little bit of Python, then you can make really anything. You can, you know, make this more pretty. So here's your modifier key. Here are the keys. So if I wanted to say, layout actually I haven't tried this yet so if I wanted uh, let me open up another one say if I wanted layout down mod K enter uh, all right W W so I think it they are trying to combine like an i3 type of thing so I'm gonna guess this would split it up or down. Again, haven't figured that one out yet. Again, I've had this less than 24 hours, so I'm just learning the basics of this. So go to the next layout, would be mod tab, like I said. Here's the URXVT. But if I wanted to split it, it would be mod, so Alt, Shift, Enter. Yeah, all right, I'm just gonna, this is where you would close it here. Uh, so as you can see, it's fairly readable. Uh, again, it is in Python. I believe Python, I don't know exactly which version of Python, but to me, it looks like it's Python 3. So, and here is where you can add the layouts. So you can say stack number, so you could say three, four, five, whatever layout max. I'll show you in a little bit the guys who suggested it to me what his uh, thing looks like and what his configuration file looks like which I'm going to use as a base to do it. And then here's the bottom bar so you can put this to the top. Uh, all you have to do is say top equals bar dot bar. Uh, I don't know what the 24 is uh, maybe pixel length, I don't know. So yeah, it's fairly basic, but it's like, it's probably easier than, say, Xmonad, since that's Haskell. Haskell's a little rough around the edges, especially if uh, you don't know what, you know, lazy, uh, I can't think of it, I think can't think of the term, but, uh, and then W and W name, sorry, WM name, you write, uh, by default it's LG3D I believe, so you can change it to whatever you want. So say if I wanted to change it to uh, Irish, save it, uh, mod control R. Uh, all right, let's go back up to refresh. I'm trying to remember. Con oh. Should be in the keys here. Uh, But if I refreshed it, save, open this again. Okay. I 
Anyway, so if I refreshed it, which I don't know why it's not doing it now, uh, if I opened up a terminal, it, the window manager would actually say Irish on it. So, which is kind of cool that you can name it to whatever you want, but uh, might as well just name it uh, Qtile here. So, Q tile. So, but, you know, again, there's not a lot of stuff to say off of the vanilla. Uh, I think they try to go for a whole bunch of uh, different window manager concepts, like i3 with the splitting. Uh, and then the module, modularity that you can do, like an awesome window manager. Uh, you can create different layouts, different modules to put down in here uh, and different stuff like that but out of the box it is not very user friendly and that's coming from someone who's been on window managers for about five years now and who has set up DWM, Xmonad, Awesome, i3, Herb Sleuth, all of them I've set up at one point or another and used them for a little bit but this one would take me a little bit to get used to and get everything that I would like, but that's for my next video. I'll show you guys how I set this up. But I wanted to show you guys the guy from the LDC, what his setup looks like. So as you can see, he moved his bar up on top. Uh, he's got the CPU, and it looks like a graph right here, memory usage battery which I would love to know what my battery is uh, it looks like volume and I don't know what the box is but it looks like he's got some of the icons which are down here and then as you can see the type of layout that you can have one here and one down there we go uh, so it's not bad, and then I'll show you briefly what his. Okay, guess not. Okay. Um, so, it's not bad. Do they have a pretty good documentation, telling you how to test your configuration, configuring variables, keys, um, Qtile command line, a bunch of stuff, which it's more detailed and more documentation than some window managers out there so but I'm going to definitely try to be on this for at least a week uh, next few videos I will try to make this a little bit more user-friendly for myself and uh, yeah so let me know what you guys think of this and uh, if you guys have any other weird type of uh, window managers you want me to take a look at um, more than more than willing so I will see you guys in the next video